Hey, what are you doing? Um, refinishing my countertops. <laughs> and she is painting the teak with a stripper. We're gonna clean up all this so it looks all pretty. Day after Thanksgiving Day sale. doing um nothing finding space for things uh, for example we when we refitted the kitchen um we kept where the propane tank was stored but now it's an empty locker but it's not really big enough to fit really big items but it just so happens that it fits the dinghy um gas can and our step ladder that we like throwing overboard so there's the locker. It's our old propane locker. And if it's that, nothing is attached to it. So this dial is just there. Not, everything's been shut off. And then the ladder, I just keep it in there. And that's our. After we wash it. It's our and rope dry ladder. It. Yeah. So that way, when we go visit other bo boats or anything, since I have short legs, um, I can just bring my own ladder. <laughs> Or if somebody pulls up to ours. Or if somebody pulls up to ours on the side and not the back. However, it will get used. Yeah. Sweet. Good use of space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Burgers. That's good. Here's Madeline sitting here going through and she is painting the teak with a stripper so that we can go ahead and uh, make all of our wood go back to natural this is where we kind of washed and scrubbed it so she's gonna she already got all the way down here all the way back and this should just eat it right off of there and uh, yeah then we'll be able to um, scrub it down and it'll be all natural again more just some more continuation of our teak work. You can see what it looked like before. And um, we went ahead and uh, put a little bit of stripper in there to get some of these little holes here and gaps here in between. So we get these out. Madeline had put it all on the side and everything. Already started coming up. We got a second coat on now. But what we didn't realize is how hard it was gonna be to scrub it off after, even though it says, oh, just rinse it off. Yeah, no, there's no just rinsing it off. It's a lot of scrubbing. But um, as you can see, even after we scraped, there's still a lot of film on here. So I had to wash all of that off. The benefit of scrubbing it, just a little scrub brush, is that it turns out really freaking nice and clean. Look at this color. So as it dries, we may even, we said we weren't going to, but we may even put some oil on it so that it just looks nice. Like it stripped everything. It did a great job of stripping all of this. So it's a lot of work. We were hoping to get it done in an afternoon, but uh, hello boat projects. An afternoon turns into two days worth of work. So, but it's gonna be well worth it. Um, I know that we're never gonna varnish it again, I'll tell you that. Well, we didn't varnish it anyway, but the uh, previous owner had, uh, when he put varnish on it, didn't like, it didn't, just wasn't, I don't know. Well, I'll leave that to, I'm sure everybody has a story about a previous owner, but you know, it's just one of the things that he wasn't really that concerned with, um, which is okay, because I was more, I'm glad that he was more concerned with how it ran and the new engine and all that stuff and that all the systems worked on it because those are a little bit more important. I can handle this no problem rather than having to deal with a bad engine or heat transfer or you know something like that. So I'm very happy with this how it's turning out. So I'm just gonna finish scrubbing the rest of this. So then after everything dries, we're gonna go ahead and um, put the tape on and then we're gonna start uh, rolling and tipping. Yeah, get our new gel coat on, 
and it's gonna look fantastic up here and I can clean all this mess up from where I put in the new windlass so it'll look like it's supposed to be there instead of me putting it in there so yeah let's get back to work because we got a lot of work to do Hey, what are you doing? Um, refinishing my countertops. <laughs> so I sanded them and put the the protection so it's all smooth. And yeah. this is my cutting board. <laughs> yeah, Dennis. Dennis gave us a great idea. Oh, <laughs> Dennis gave us some great expert advice on how to take care of this. Yeah, he so show him what we used. Um, he recommended a bead and wax conditioner and polish. So what it does is that when we put it on, we just put it on a little bit thick and then let it absorb. And what it does is that it conditions the wood so it doesn't crack, but it also does like a light wax surface to it. So water doesn't penetrate and it protects it more from the environment which since we're in the water, we have to. <laughs> Bad thing that while I'm doing this, everything that's on the counter's place <laughs> needs to be everywhere else and I'm trying to cook, so. Yep. So yeah, so we have all of our kitchen stuff piled up over here. Yeah. She's got the cockpit cushions over here from where I was scrubbing out the cockpit, which by the way, looks amazing. Yeah. So, so boat, yay, boat projects. Boat life. <laughs> And I promise Patrick doesn't beat me. I have all these bruises all over because I'm having fun. See, now we're talking. Look how beautiful that looks. Side's still wet from where I just washed it. Look at this. This is going to oil up beautiful if we still decide to oil it. We want to keep it. Oh, yeah. That was another thing we did yesterday that we probably should have filmed. We replaced our jib line. So, yeah, we had... um day after Thanksgiving Day sale got a we usually don't go to West Marine to buy line because it's so friggin expensive but um, they had a deal we couldn't beat it was like about a hundred feet of um, a hundred feet of line so it was like 90 bucks I couldn't pass on that so yeah so we went ahead and replaced the jib line piece by piece we're replacing every piece of line we are we already replaced our uh, main halyard our jib halyard, the davit lines, new dock lines, jib line, the only one I still have to, oh, and the outhaul, replace that as well. And then the next one we're going to replace is the, uh, well, I'm going to put up a spinnaker line, which I already have. And then uh, we're going to replace the, uh, the main sheet. So it's still in really good shape, but we want to go ahead and see if we can, um, you know, just just why not just go ahead and just get them all new that way when we leave we don't have anything to worry about so yeah and we get back to work again working on teak again yeah yeah this teak looks amazing the deck looks amazing so when we uh when we do the gel coat on the white, we're going to be covering up some of these parts that are yeah, just a little worn. But it's a, uh, yeah, man, this is like really coming together. I feel really good about today. So, yeah, man, the cockpit's all purtified. It's all purty. So, yeah, we're probably going to actually do the cockpit tomorrow, but we're going to paint this today. And, uh, Madeline's gonna come up here as soon as this finishes uh, drying up and she's gonna start taping and then I'm gonna start rolling and tipping. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just so glad this freaking teak work is done. I never wanna deal with this ever again. Although I know I'm gonna have to. But it should just be more of a maintenance thing 
then what it was was us trying to like bring it back to life and um yeah and then really our next project is gonna be bam we're gonna swap out that little solar panel we have there on our davits put put some larger solar panels get us a new mppt charger get us a new mppt charger and freaking we should be good for batteries uh well good for juice and i'm gonna add two more batteries because i did measure it out and i am going to be able to put two more in there so yeah it's gonna be a tight squeeze but man it's gonna be so worth it all right well madeline's making us some food she already made us some cinnamon rolls for a snack and i'm gonna go down and eat some lunch madeline made chili since it's nice and chilly out here perfect food god i love this woman hey what are you doing I am taping around everything that I don't want gel coat. So I'm taping around the non-skid because we're only painting like in the in-between. So you jam up job. Thanks. This teak turned out amazing. It, it will. Is. It's not amazing yet, but it will. <laughs> compared to what it was. Yeah, compared to what it was. Compared to what it was, it is amazing. You can look at some of our older videos, especially the one where I took, um, when we, uh, what was it, sailing in troubled waters? And then if you look at that video, you can actually see a clip when we turned around from the sky bridge and I had the camera next to the, the tow rail and you can really see how jacked up the teak was. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you don't buy a brand new boat. You have to refinish it. Yep. But it looks amazing. And everything we do looks great. And we're taking the time and we're doing it slowly and right. It has been a long day. But we did as much as we could until five o'clock, which is my cutoff time for work, but work, just like work. Otherwise you get burnt out. So Patrick is peeling off the tape. And as you can see, looks amazing. Wow, somebody taped this a lot. <laughs> They act like this is the way. This is the way we paint our deck, paint our deck, paint our deck. This is the way we paint our deck. Or the Mandalorian. All right, yeah. So as you can see, we already finished the front part of the deck. Uh, we just had to finish the cockpit. So yeah, take a look at this. Nice. The teak came out really good. All of the... Uh, Everything came out really nice. I have no complaints whatsoever. So it all looks like brand new now. All nice and shiny and pretty. We're gonna take our spinnaker pole and we're gonna be buying some brackets. They're gonna hook up here to the stanchions and hold up the spinnaker pole so we can free up that deck space down there. Which is a great idea from Jeff. And then today is gonna be the cockpit. So we still have all this to finish up. We wanted to wait until we um, we're getting ready to head back to uh, head back for a little bit, and we'll be off the boat for a couple days. So that'll give it a good time. To, uh, we don't have to worry about tracking on it or uh, messing anything up. Yeah. So let's get this done. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. Um. So somebody told me to try and um, do the teak outside with the butcher block conditioner because it's made so it gets wet and protected from cooking so i'm trying it and wow it's looking good yeah so it should give it a really nice shine protection but not paint yep all right now i gotta get back to work painting all right let's take a look at everything now that uh I finished painting and Madeline finished uh, doing the teak. Man, 
Looks like a whole new boat. Look how pretty that cockpit is. Yes.